Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Skybound's Transformers, issue number three. After learning of her father's death, Carly demands to know how it happened. Sparky, with his voice trembling, tells her that a giant robot crushed him. Carly immediately realizes it must have been Starscream, and begins explaining her and Spike's discovery of the Ark. Panic sets in for Sparky, and he urgently asks where Spike is when Laserbeak suddenly attacks them. Sparky fires at the robotic bird, but Laserbeak easily tosses him aside. Cornering Carly, Laserbeak moves in for the kill, but Cliffjumper arrives just in time, delivering a powerful kick to Laserbeak's face, driving him back. As Cliffjumper approaches Carly to check on her, Sparky, terrified and confused, screams at him to stay away and fires a shotgun directly at the Autobot's face. But despite Carly's pleas, Sparky drags her into the police car he commandeered, and they speed away. Meanwhile, back at the Ark, Starscream grows increasingly frustrated with Soundwave for failing to repair Teletran 1. Soundwave explains that although they have enough energon, the raw materials they collected aren't advanced enough to fix the computer. When Soundwave begins to mention what Megatron would do in this situation, Starscream angrily slaps him snarling that he doesn't want to hear Megatron's name mentioned ever again. Just then, Soundwave receives an alert from Laserbeak, prompting Starscream to order Skywarp to handle the situation. Elsewhere, Sparky takes Carly to a veteran's bar, where Carly questions why they're there. Sparky explains that the Decepticons are jamming all communication signals, so they need backup from any source they can find. Inside, Danny and a group of fellow veterans have already formed a small militia having heard the explosions and decided to defend themselves. Carly tries to convince Sparky that not all of the robots are evil, but Sparky, hardened by war, insists that when the shooting starts, people die. Suddenly, Cliffjumper appears in the doorway, and Sparky opens fire on him with a machine gun. As if on cue, Skywarp arrives, and the humans mistakenly believe Cliffjumper has called in reinforcements, prompting them to shoot at both Autobots and Decepticons alike. On the outskirts of town, Optimus and Spike spot the smoke rising from the battle, and Optimus quickly rushes in to intervene. Skywarp easily shrugs off the humans' bullets, and Danny decides they need something more powerful. He and Sparky retrieve a bazooka, just as the bar begins to collapse. Skywarp prepares to finish off Cliffjumper, but Carly bravely steps in to defend the Autobot, which only amuses the Decepticon. The situation takes a dire turn when Optimus arrives, ramming into Skywarp in his truck mode and transforming to confront him. Optimus then instructs Spike to take cover while he battles Skywarp. The two engage in a fierce fight, with Skywarp using his teleportation abilities and Optimus wielding his Energon Axe. Optimus eventually pins Skywarp down and demands his surrender, but their duel is abruptly interrupted by Sparky and Danny, who fire the bazooka at Optimus severely injuring his right arm. Seizing the opportunity, Skywarp blasts Optimus, knocking him back. Sparky, now in a frenzy, urges the militia to fire on both Cybertronians, and Spike, desperate to help, rushes toward the injured Optimus, but is caught in the crossfire, leaving him badly wounded. Skywarp taunts Optimus as he moves in to crush Spike, but Optimus, driven by sheer determination, tackles Skywarp to the ground. In a last-ditch effort, Optimus rips off his damaged arm and uses it as a club, relentlessly beating Skywarp into submission. With Skywarp down, Optimus gently picks up the bleeding spike. Seeing this, Sparky, overcome with emotion and fear, rushes towards Optimus, tears streaming down his face and a handgun trembling in his grip. He screams at Optimus to stay away from his son. In response, Optimus transforms into his truck mode, telling Sparky to get in. He's going to save his son. Alright, I gotta admit, this is another home run from Skybound. This issue was so full of emotion and action that just like Bumblebee's head, I'm blown away. I really dig the dynamic between Starscream and Soundwave on the arc. You can tell Starscream is on edge and his frustration is starting to boil over, especially when Megatron's name gets brought up and I really like that. It's the little things like that in this story that I really love, because it's already got me really excited about the debut of Megatron. 
And I love Optimus Prime showing up because it was such a classic hero moment. I mean, the dude literally ripped his own arm off and beat Skywarp with it. And that just shows you the lengths that he's willing to go to to protect the people that he cares about. But let me know in the comments what you guys enjoyed about this issue. Don't forget to like this video and sub to the channel for more. And stay tuned for my breakdown and review of Transformers issue number four. I'll see you guys next time.